Do you want to pass your Security Plus exam from CompTIA? Well, stick around for the rest of the video and I'll show you how. If this is the first time that we're meeting, my name is John Good. I'm a technology professional, trainer, YouTuber, and all of the above. If you like the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to show your support and see the description for a link of full technology courses that I've created. Also make sure to respond back to comments. So if you have questions or you wanna see certain types of content in the future, let me know. All right, let's get into the video. Welcome friends. First and foremost, I wanna thank you for stopping by the channel and watching the video. Based on the title of this video, I'm guessing that you are looking at taking and passing the Security Plus exam from CompTIA to either increase your cybersecurity knowledge or to actually break into the cybersecurity field. So let's take a look real quick at what the exam actually is for the Security Plus. So for the Security Plus exam, if you go to the CompTIA website here and then under certifications and then Security Plus, Let's take a look at what the exam details are here. So the current exam code is SY0501. It was launched in 2017. Generally with these exams, what happens is there's about a three year period that the exam will continue for. And then if they announce a new exam, it will give you a certain period, say like six months, where you know that that exam is going to retire and you can either take the old exam, so the current exam, or that new exam that they released. Now, one of the nice things with taking the previous version exam instead of the newest version is there's a lot of lag usually between the materials that prepare between the different versions. So usually that current exam that's being replaced can be a little bit easier to take. Now on this current exam, there's a maximum of 90 questions. That doesn't mean you're going to get 90 questions. That just means there's a maximum of 90 questions. Now the types of questions that you might get would be multiple choice. So you get four choices, A, B, C, D, and you pick the correct one, just like any other exam that you've probably taken, or performance-based, which could be anything else. So drag and drop, fill in the blank, you name it, anything else. Now, those types of questions Will determine how many questions that you actually get so they do it based on difficulty and how many questions maybe it's a multiple answer question something like that just keep that in mind as far as the score you have to get a 750 to pass now on the scoring model you can see that it goes 100 to 900 don't even think about that you're not going to be able to determine where you fit on there Basically, just know that when you get that sheet at the end, the printout, it needs to say at least a 750 or higher for you to pass. Now, as far as experience, this is where there's always questions that come up. On here, they recommend that you have a Network Plus from CompTIA and two years experience. Honestly, with a lot of CompTIA exams and Security Plus, there's a lot of people that will pass it with no experience. A lot of it comes down to your preparation. Obviously, experience helps, but you don't have to have a certain experience amount in order to take the exam and get the certification. And then the cost you can see here is $339 US dollars. Now, one of the reasons why I've created this video is to let all my viewers know that I've created a bootcamp style course specifically to prepare you for the Security Plus exam from CompTIA. Whenever you're studying for a certification exam, you should always use multiple resources to help you prepare for the exam. Now, a problem with a lot of the resources that are out there is that they will contain a lot of information, sometimes even additional information that's good to know, but it's outside of the actual objectives of the exam. And when you get towards the end or closer to your exam date, it can be very hard to quickly go through that material again to refresh your memory. That's the reason why I've created this course is to help you as you get closer to the end when you're getting ready to take the exam and you need to quickly refresh certain subjects. Also to provide you with some extra knowledge from my experience is in the course as well. Now to show my appreciation for all of my viewers, I'm giving you 
a special link to the course. Okay. The special link is going to be johngood.com slash security plus. Now there's a couple ways that you can get there. Let me show you the first way. The first way is you can go to my website, johngood.com and you can go to the courses section. Now on the courses section, this is where I'm going to put other courses that I've created and links to them. So you don't have to worry. It'll be here. I'll also put it in descriptions for my videos, but you can come here and then you can click the CompTIA security plus link. I will actually put the link in the description of this video as well. So again, it's at my website, johngood.com slash security plus. So spelt out with a plus instead of a plus sign. But again, I'll put that in the description if you want to just click it from here. I've put the video course on Udemy, so it will direct you to Udemy and it will automatically apply the link that I've provided and the coupon code for you. Now, question of the day, when are you planning on taking your CompTIA Security Plus exam? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.